Hey everyone. Yesterday during the live call, we started talking about tracking all of the information across multiple channels. And I was able to show how to set up your Microsoft Universal Event Tracker, your Google Analytics Tracker, and I've already shown how to do the Facebook Pixel. But the question that got asked was how do we do Pinterest? Well, the first thing, you actually have to have a Pinterest business account. And if you have a Pinterest account, all you have to do is create the business account and it'll link the two together for you inside of Pinterest. Once there, you're going to go into your ads and then you're going to scroll down to conversions. And this is what you're going to see for your conversions. So if you wanted to um, install a tag, I already have one here. So I go into my tag um, and then I would click install manually. Now, it's, since you won't have a tag, you're going to have to click and add a new tag. But because I already have a tag, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So the base code is going to go into your Shopify um, theme dot liquid so all we're going to do is follow this we're gonna put the stuff in between the head tag so we just go right here and we're gonna go into our online store themes actions and edit code it's gonna take a second to load up and then we just look for theme dot liquid and inside of the head and save all right and then we're gonna go back to Pinterest and we're gonna install the event code um, so we're only gonna add this to the place where we want to track conversions so since this is a conversion tag we're gonna put this on the thank you page so this is the um, what's gonna run when we get to the thank you page now if somebody refreshes the thank you page this will show a second conversion there is ways around this, but this is just a quick installation guide. So all we're going to do is go here. And we're going to look for Order dot liquid. We're going to have to add the head section here. Save. Now, if you wanted to track add to carts, you could just go ahead and copy this script right here and then open up your cart page. And this says we're going to want to look for cart template. So under sections, we go to cart template. We're going to add our header code here. Paste that. And then we're going to close up the head. We're going to save that. And then if you wanted to do a page visit, um, I would do this to all of your product pages. Copy. And product template.liquid. Do the same thing. And we don't do signups, we're not going to do a watch video, we're not going to do leads. If you want to do a search, you could probably, if your theme has the search page, um, which this particular style does, there it is, there it is. Don't listen to me, just listen to me. There we go. You want to do category page, view category. And that would be the collection. Do the same thing, just add our head, paste, and close our head. And if you wanted a custom event, you could put this pixel information and whatever you want your custom event to say. There it is. So let's just say you wanted to add a custom event to a button click. 
So check this out. Let's go ahead and go to our product template. See if we can find the add to uh, cart. There we go, add to cart. So this is going to be the add to cart button. So type is submit and the name is add, but we want an on click event. So I don't think there's any on click events here. Just wanted to make sure before I do this that there's no on click events because I don't want to mess anything up. I would then put on click equals and then put that right there. Um, so that, and then this is clicked add to cart. Now you could put your um, add to cart theme or add to cart um, pixel event there if you want. Um, let's do buy now. Probably gonna be like that, right? Buy now, nope. Uh, it doesn't have it. It's probably under sections. Um, I hopefully you understand from that. Uh, you can make that event however you want. Now this is just a uh, custom store that I play around with. This is not live, so that's why you're seeing all this stuff being put in the first time. Um, I have my Pinterest code into my live store already, but I wanted to be able to show you how to do it from scratch. Um, so that was the first two steps. And then if you wanted to see if it's working or not, you just have the Pinterest um, helper extension. You can install that right into the Chrome. Um, but as you can see, I don't like having, I don't wanna add another one. I have too many already, I have to get rid of some of these. Um, and it just, Chrome's already so hungry for all of my memory. I don't wanna add another thing for it to run. Uh, so that's how you install your, uh, your Pinterest tracking code. If you have any questions make sure you leave them in the comments if this video helped you at all please do give it a like and subscribe for more daily trainings on advertising marketing drop shipping and shopify thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video